In this chapter, we're gonna go over how to add custom colors to shapes in our application, create custom background colors. We're also gonna go over how to work between light and dark mode and how to apply gradient colors as well. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and hop right into our project navigator, guys, and let's create a new file. And I'm going to make this a Swift UI view, hit next, and we're gonna call this colors tutorial. So before we get started, I want to test you guys' knowledge really quickly. See if you can make a rectangle with a corner radius so it's rounded around the edges and just give it a, some random color, anything of your choosing. Go ahead, pause the video right now and see if you can do that on your own in this colors file. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that. It's very similar to what we did in our shapes tutorial. Um, so we're just gonna say like rectangle dot corner radius is 10. And then we're gonna say dot foreground color is like dot blue. Super simple. I uh, just wanted to see if you guys could get that done um, on your own. So you guys notice that this automatically sort of like almost fills out the entire view. Next thing I want you guys to try and do is see if you guys can give this a custom size, maybe 200 by 200. So see if you can get that done. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it. You just add a frame property and you say 200 by 200. And we can delete that alignment, guys, because we really just don't need it. So now we have this rectangle here. And it's got this like nice, pretty blue color. And up to this point in the boot camp, we've been working with colors that we get from Swift UI, right? And they give us an awesome selection of colors. But what if we want to apply our own custom color, right? That's uh, not given to us by Swift UI. Let's go over how to do that now. So typically colors are constructed with like red, green, blue values. So uh, we get the option to do that with Swift UI. So on this foreground color, you can just type out color and open up in a parenthesis. And you guys should see this option here that says red, green, blue, and opacity. So just hit enter on that. We have to give it some color space. So you just hit dot and like S and you can see the available color spaces that you can use, just do dot sRGB, that's fine. And for these red, green, blue values, guys, give it any value between zero and one. So for example, I could say like 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and the opacity is one. And hit resume on my preview. And that will just give me a gray color. And you'll notice that like if I adjust these values, say I go red as 0 0.9, it's more pink. And then I can do green as like 0 0.1 and it's like super pink. And then I can do 0 0.2 for blue or like maybe 0 0.9 for blue. And then it turns purple. So you can mess with these values as much as you want to get some sort of custom color. You can also use hex colors. Um, I personally don't really use those, but like you might get those from like a design team and they might give you a hex color. Swift UI gives you the option to do that as well. So let's go ahead and see how we can further customize these colors um, by going up into this right side menu. So up in the upper right hand corner of your Xcode window, just click that button to show this inspector and you're gonna see this uh, sort of menu open up and then you can click on the rectangle that we have in the app and this inspector or attribute inspector, as this is called, make sure you guys have this far right option selected. This is the attribute inspector, gives us a list of all the modifiers we have applied to this particular shape, which is really, really cool. So for example, we see the corner radius here and that's because I have it right there. And you guys will notice that I could hit the plus button on this guy and you'll notice it changing in my code as I hit the plus button and it modifies the corner radius in uh, like in the preview as I click that, which is absolutely amazing, right? So now the corner radius is 20, I modified it here. It's taken effect in my code as well as in the preview. So we can do the same thing for the color. So we see here that we have this foreground color modifier and we see that it's some custom color, right? Here you could select from the list of colors that Swift UI offers you, yellow, green, blue, whatever it may be. And we that changes in our code over here as well. Or as you guys can see, we can select this custom guy. Um, let's do that one more time. 
and this color window pops up. And this literally allows you to select something from like this cool color board that you can um, you know, just modify it like through this guy right here. So if I did that and just wait for a second, it changes it to purple. And then I could change the opacity of it, right? And that will take effect at right there. So like I can see that changing this guy makes it a super light purple. And I can bring it back up all the way up to the top and it makes it like a darker purple. Um, I could go all the way up here to like a yellow. And you guys can see here that you can really just customize um, your color any way you want through this sort of color picker. And you can also um, type in your red, green, blue values right here. But one of my favorite features that Xcode offers us is this guy right here. So if you click on this little like um, sort of like, I don't know what that's called, <laughs> uh, but this guy right here, you can select a color from anywhere on the screen, right? So you guys notice that this is sort of like this custom color picker. So let me hit this like purple on my background and you guys will notice that it changes to match that purple exactly from this sort of like color picker tool, which is really cool. So if I go up here and click that dark navy, it'll do that. And like, for example, I could go and make this the background of my Xcode editor. And you guys notice that these match up directly as well. So that's just yet another way we have of customizing our colors for uh, shapes. And let's go ahead and see how we can make like this the entire background of our application. So go ahead and uh, comment out this frame, guys, and you'll notice that the rectangle expands to almost the entire like size of the screen. And uh, to make it fill out the entire screen, you can just go here and say dot ignores safe area. And this will give me a background, right? That I can now like add things to my application. So that's sort of how you create a background color for your app. And then once again, we can go into this color picker and like, let's say I want a really cool purple background. I can just go here and hit this guy on my screen. Um, and then I get this awesome purple background, right? Or, you know, you could just select some of the preloaded stuff we get from Swift UI. And now I have a blue background or a, a red background, whatever you want to do, this is all highly customizable. So we can use the stuff we get preloaded or given to us by Swift UI, or we can customize it ourselves using red, green, blue values. And um, another thing you guys might wanna be able to do is like use a hex value for a color. And to do that, we can go here and you can select this option in the dropdown that says 16 bit hex. And now you can apply a hex value for your color, which is super cool. So there's a bunch of different ways to get custom colors into your application. These are just a few of them. So let's actually go ahead and give this guy a frame again. And I want to show you guys how to uh, make it so that you can change the color of things based on whether or not you're in light or dark mode. So currently in our preview, we are in light mode, right? Um, to change that to dark mode, go ahead and select this option right here, the second to last button on the right side of this little preview bar. Uh, and then you can go down to color scheme and you can force it into dark mode. So now my app will change to dark mode, right? So Swift UI actually offers us the ability to apply custom colors for both light and dark mode. So let's go over how we can do that. And then we're gonna go over how to apply gradients to our shapes, um, which is also an awesome feature that can make your UI extremely elegant and beautiful. So we're gonna go into this assets option here. And down at the bottom, guys, um, so you might not be able to see that because of my uh, myself down in the bottom. So let me just move this over a little bit. You'll see this plus right here, and we can like click that and then add a color set. Okay, so um, now you guys see that we get two options: any appearance and dark. So any appearance is basically light mode, and dark is what the color would be in dark mode. So Let's go ahead and one, let's change the name of this. Let's just call it uh, color scheme. So it's a little bit more descriptive. So you can just click on that guy, just hold, uh, click once, sort of hold the click down and it will give you the option to rename that. So now let's get, just give these two custom colors for um, our app, right? So this is what we would want the color of 
the shape to be when it's in light mode and this for dark mode. So once again, open up that right side menu. And um, now we can actually click onto this color panel. And this guy is even more customizable than what we saw before. So we get a bunch of different uh, methods of choosing a custom color. You guys get a color wheel. You can choose these custom colors uh, from this sort of like, like pencil layout, which is kind of cool. Um, you can select just these standard colors as well. And then you have this like color adjuster guy here as well. So bunch of different options for choosing color schemes, um, which, and all of them are great. Um, it really just comes down to what you guys prefer to use. Uh, I'm just going to go here and give my app like a, uh, a, like a color scheme for any appearance of this aqua color. I kind of like that blue. And then for dark mode, guys, I'm going to give it a color of like strawberry, right? Or maybe like uh, this magenta right here or whatever you guys uh, really like. Just pick two different colors. And let's now exit out of this color uh, panel and we can go back to our file color tutorial. And for the foreground color, let's go ahead and say color and then open up the parentheses and we're going to add a string and we're just going to name it whatever you guys named that color. For me, it was color scheme. So for example, let's go back to assets. We guys see, you guys see that I named this color scheme and let's see if that works. Um, let me move that ignore safe area. Uh, just remove that option. So you guys are noticing that it doesn't work right now. So let's actually just go ahead and change this from foreground color to dot fill. And you'll notice if I hit resume, Okay, so I'm going to move this guy fill up to the top. For some reason, Swift UI forces you to apply that fill um, up at the top of the list of modifiers that you have. Hit resume on the preview. And we notice that it's that pink color that we selected. And now if I change this back to, uh, where is that? Um, let's see color scheme, if I change it back to light, you guys will notice that it changes to that blue color that I have. So when we switch or the user of the app switches between light and dark mode, this is sort of how we can control um, the color scheme of our application. So that's super, super cool. Last but not least, guys, let's go over how to add a custom gradient to our application. So on this fill option, let's just go ahead and delete this guy and we can pass in something called a linear gradient and then open up your parentheses and do this guy that says color, start point, end point. Hit enter and this is going to ask us for a list of colors. This is known as an array. Um, so an array is basically just a set of items. So open up some a square bracket just like that and it's going to ask us to apply or add the colors that we want for our gradient layer. So typically a gradient is going to have two colors. So for example, I'm going to pass in dot blue and then you say comma dot like purple. So these are the two colors that are going to compose my linear gradient and we can choose where we want the gradient to start and where we want it to end. So for example, let's say I want it to start up at the upper left hand corner and end at the bottom right hand corner. I can say start point is dot top leading and end point is dot bottom trailing. So let's go ahead and see how that looks and look how amazing that looks guys. Now to get an idea of what this would look like, uh, like for the background of your application, these are kind of similar to like Instagram colors. You can just go ahead and comment out this frame and add like your dot ignore safe area again. And that's going to like really give you this amazingly aesthetic background, right? And it's so easy to apply to your application using Swift UI. So let's actually just make this start at the top and end at the bottom. So we could say dot top and dot bottom. Oops, dot 
bottom. And let's see if that changes it at all, sort of, right? Let's make the endpoint dot center. And you'll see that it sort of moves the, the purple color up into the blue more. So we do dot center. And you notice now that it's like more purple than it is blue. You guys can sort of just play around with the, that starting and, and end point to just, to, just to see how it will affect the gradient. And you can really customize it to whatever you want it to look like. And like, for example, guys, I could change this color to like yellow. Yellow and purple don't really go together, but let's say I just wanted, actually that looks pretty cool, right? It looks kind of like sunset colors. Let's make this guy pink, right? And so that, that looks cool as well. Whatever the color scheme for your app may be, you can customize these colors and you don't just have to pass in the standard colors you get from Swift UI. You could pass in any custom color that you want and apply it to this linear gradient. And that's gonna pretty much wrap it up for our colors tutorial, guys. We went over how to create custom gradients, how to create custom colors, and also how to change the color of something based on whether or not we're in light or dark mode. These are all extremely helpful techniques that you're gonna to need to know if you want to build quality apps with Swift UI. So really quickly, before we move on to the next chapter, I just wanna talk about what this dot ignore safe area modifier does. So once again, guys, if we comment that out, you're going to notice that we hit if we hit resume on the preview that it's going to create sort of this spacing on the top and on the bottom as we can see right here and this is what's known as the safe area in an ios application or an ios device so typically you guys know what goes here it's going to be like your service provider or your wi-fi bar or your service bars or your battery life stuff like that and there might be certain situations where you want to make sure that this uh, safe area remains untouched. Or there might, be one, there might be situations where you want your app to fill out or the, the custom background you have or whatever it may be to fill out the entire width or height of the screen, right? So if you say dot ignore safe area, that's what it's gonna do. So it, by default, it doesn't ignore the safe area. That's just the behavior defined by uh, Apple. Uh, so if you want to ignore the safe area, you just apply this modifier and you can see that it's going to fill out the top and bottom um, safe areas of the application. So that's going to wrap it up for the colors tutorial, guys. And in the next chapter, we're going to be going over how to work with images in SwiftUI. So that's going to be super fun. We'll see you guys there.